On a scale of one to 10, rank your degree of optimism that Democrats can keep control of the House of Representatives in November. Eight. Eight. I'll tell you why. We have a great story to tell about job creation and wage increases. We also have a great story to tell about Republicans who are freaking crazy. In Politico a couple days ago, you said, one of the things that motivates voters is fear. A lot of this Republican behavior is causing a lot of fear among not just Democrats, but also rational individuals everywhere. I'm curious whether you think that, is that what has to happen now? Is it has to become the fear campaign? The reason that we're fearful is because, for example, January 6th happened. When we say we're fearful of folks who spread the big lie and that caused the insurrection, we have every right to fear that, especially if they take power. Republicans all scream fear-mongering when they hear this kind of talk. Some of your colleagues, moderate colleagues of yours, sort of say, we gotta focus on bread and butter, kitchen table issues. We have to do both. You have to have a campaign that talks about Democrats and also brand Republicans uh, for what they are. Two Republican members went to a white nationalist conference and spoke. The Republican leadership did nothing. They're tolerating their extremism and the bigotry and racism. We're watching the radicalization of the Republican Party in real time. Madison Cawthorn, who's obviously a colorful figure. North Carolina Congressman Madison Cawthorn claimed he was invited to a, quote, orgy with colleagues and witnessed a lawmaker snorting cocaine. In a, in a tweet, you said, I want him to be the face and voice of House Republicans. What Madison Cawthorn said is that senior Republican members invited him to cocaine-fueled orgies. So what has the Republican leadership done to Madison Cawthorn? Nothing. So something has changed in the last five years, a growing segment of the Republican Party. They are in a false and alternate reality. I'll look at an apple, and a Republican colleague will say, no, that's a banana. So if you cannot agree on basic facts, it is really hard to move forward. Uh, also very hard to make a fruit salad. That's true. <laughs> so part of the argument you think Democrats need to make loudly in the fall is Republicans take control of the House of Representatives, we could lose it all because they are basically insurrectionists. They don't believe in facts as we understand them. Yes, absolutely. You have to let voters understand the stakes in November that we're at a pivotal point in our country's history and that democracy is at stake.